continued its assault on the Gaza Strip following this weekend's attacks by the Hamas militant group. Israel has also stopped the supply of food, fuel and medicine into Gaza, while the remaining entry point to Egypt was shut down due to nearby airstrikes. The war has so far claimed at least 1,900 lives on both sides, including at least 14 Americans. President Biden today called Hamas actions, quote, pure evil. The group reportedly still has the more than 100 hostages captured Saturday. Israel, whose forces have also seen gunfire exchanges with fighters in Lebanon and Syria, today expanded its mobilization to 360,000 reserve soldiers. An Emporia language arts teacher saw her vacation to the Middle East take an unexpected turn. She was in Jerusalem when the attacks were launched. Emporia Middle School teacher Joanna Kessinger and her group were atop the ancient site of Mossad Saturday. Moments after this photo, they heard the first round of bombs. They quickly realized this was different from the periodic violence the region had seen in recent years. But this was unprecedented because they took us off the mountain and they um, took us on the buses and put, put us back in Jerusalem in the hotel and said that we needed to stay there. Their travel guide scrambled to get them out of the country, turns out, just in time. So when we finally got to um, Amman, Jordan, um, to our hotel, they told us what had happened in Jerusalem. And that was that was a pretty emotional moment to realize that we were out, but so many weren't. Three canceled flights later, Joanna is now in Istanbul, Turkey. She said she never expected to be a witness to this kind of history. Before the attack, she visited many of the sites she'd hoped to see, the Wailing Wall, the Mount of Transfiguration. And she interacted with people from all walks of life, both Israeli and Palestinian. She says it's left a lesson to share with her students and with adults. It is so important for us to be able to understand that we are all on the same planet playing in the same sandbox. And we might have different views and different beliefs, but we really need to learn how to get along together because it's okay to be different. It's okay to have a different thought. They're all just us trying to make a way. And Kessinger currently is scheduled on a flight back to the U.S. Friday.